Oh, yes. Okay, so <clears throat> first of all, I'm really surprised by this activity in Japan that you have so many projects related into interf interface of multidisciplinary studies. Because in Europe now it's not so good with multidisciplinarity and mm -hmm. people are concentrated. Very often people announce that they want multidisciplinarity, mm -hmm. but finally there's one panel in physics or in mathematics or in computer science and such middle projects, they're not so successful, not so successful. For example, in Europe, there's great quantum information initiative, one billion dollar euro. But when we try to apply to them, these are mainly people who do quantum technology, this hardware, software, and they consider all who are doing as we something outside this, just uh, they struggle for the area. Here I see that it's very interesting. Uh, today the talk would be another topic and maybe it's not related to majority of your interest, but maybe yes. And this is um, the idea to model uh, social processes by using also quantum formalism, quantum formalism and methodology. But here we use social, a kind of social laser model, and it is more advanced. It is, um, as you know, uh, physical laser is already quantum field theory. And mm -hmm. before everything was quantum mechanics, a system with finitely many degrees of freedom. Okay, so we go to this, we go to this area of research, and I call this social laser. And... Um, all we see that last years, they are really disturbing. That in many places of the world, we have different uh, big social protests, um, kind of information or social tsunami. So very quickly generated big waves of social protests and um, demonstrations, violence, and so on. And um, they characterize it by such thing. Uh, action is homogeneous, so all people are moving roughly speaking, in the same direction. They are doing the coherence. We can call in the physical terms coherence. Very quickly, these actions are generated, and very quickly, they go down. They go down. And, um, for example, we can see it's, it's old picture. After this, we had many new actions. Uh, so in Ukraine now, in United States and uh, everywhere, especially this um, wave of protests when this a uh, poor um, guy, Floyd, was uh, killed by a policeman. It took only a few days. And also interesting that after this, maybe in one month, protests disappear. So um, as I spoke with my American friends, the life of black people did not become so better. So it was huge wave, it was huge protest. And after this, more or less the same as it was before, as it was before. So our idea uh, that this... Um, generation of spikes, of coherent spikes, is very similar to what is done in physics, in laser technique, and we want to do something similar, so something similar which we call social laser. Uh, if you read political literature in political science, there is a lot of literature about so-called color revolutions. Color revolutions, they are called in this way that before uh, I read these books, and they are really surprised by the novelty of this revolution. For example, before to make revolution, for example, in Russia, people developed Marxism. There was a very big theoretical ideological basis behind this revolution. And um, there was long preparation and so on. And the revolution had very big impact. For example, it was created Soviet Union. Now they told, that typically revolution has no, for example, it was a rose revolution in Georgia, when all people just put roses and the big protests. And uh, uh, more or less uh, why color, only symbol typically played the role. People don't have any ideology, they don't have um, big aims, and uh, they don't have program how to reconstruct society and so on. So, and there were hundreds of such revolutions. The first um, in the literature they put to Philippines. And Philippines was many years ago also a kind of 
um, color revolution, which did not change so much life on Philippines. Um, yeah, so even in Belarus, they tried to do this maybe unsuccessful mm -hmm. color revolution and so on. So this was my main motivation to color revolutions. But then I move more to the process of decision making. So this coherent uh, collective decision making. So yesterday we discussed individual decision making, but very often society in general makes decisions. Not only, for example, political decision, but for example, decision about um, exception of vaccination policy during COVID-19. Maybe in other countries it was more or less fair what was driving people were afraid of COVID. But for example, in Sweden, we it was exceptional country. We did not have any restriction, no mask, nothing. It was two years of usual life. But after this, government started very strong um, advertising that you should do this, and it was successful. So 90% of population uh, vaccinated. So this is can be also called as kind of social laser. So now we go to physics. Uh, to physics because uh, here we have multidisciplinary community and I try explaining two words how work usual laser how work usual laser there are few stages and first stage is uh, energy pumping so first of all there is active medium of gain medium very big ensemble of atoms what is important it should be homogeneous if material is not uh, homogeneous, different um, mixing, it would not work so good. So big ensemble of lasers, and then um, there's pumping of energy in this gain medium, in active medium. And atoms, uh, for simplicity, consider atoms which have only two states, relaxed and excited, or ground and excited. In fact, real physical laser is not easy to make with two states. They need at least three states, but it's more delicate question, yeah? And um, they pump energy with uh, photons, with photons, atom eat photon, and then uh, going from ground state to excited state, ground state to excited state. And they should pump so energy that it would be approached special state. Population inversion state means that more than half of population become excited. So this is first stage. Pump energy until 50%, at least 50% of atoms are excited. Um, yeah, first they were in an excited state and then majority became excited. Okay, so first stage, pumping of energy. The second stage, stimulated emission. First of all, of course, uh, the, all this is interesting how long it takes very often um, until theory is realized in practice. Because this theory of stimulated emission was developed by Einstein in 2005, um, 1905. But then it was implemented only in the 50s. In 50s. Uh, and uh, since there we have people who do literature, it's interesting that uh, literature played a role in implementation of usual laser. Mm -hmm. um, because uh, in the 20s, there was written a book of uh, Russian um, writer um, Tolstoy about, it was called Hyperboloid of Engineer Garin. It was more or less that one guy developed laser to become dictator over the world. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting that both American and Soviet physicists, they read this book mm -hmm. and this book stimulated them. Mm -hmm. they, they, in their memories they wrote, after <coughs> reading this book, I started to see all oh, Einstein's theory. So it is really maybe not so often literature plays mm -hmm. so stimulating role mm -hmm. in physics. So now started stimulated emission. And what is this? Uh, there is this uh, gain medium of excited atoms, and then they inject in this medium photons, which are going in the same direction and have the same property. Coherent injection. So they uh, And then this active medium copy this coherence in injection. So if these photons were moving in this direction, all atoms start to emit the photons, which are moving in the same direction. So they copy they copy the direction of these photons. This is the basis of coherence. The second, the process become cascade. So 
the process should be cascade. Energy should be exponentially increasing its generation. Uh, when we have one atom and there is flying photon, uh, it's also emit in this direction and then flying two photons. They approach two atoms, they emit again two photons and so on and so on. It would be big cloud of photons and more and more atoms emit photons. So it is cascade huge beam. Uh, uh, typically it can be started even with three, four photons. So it's enough, only very small number of photons because medium is already overheated. They, they wait, they wait in something for signal to start emission, yeah? This was population um, inversion. So cascade process, exponential increasing power and the property that it's um, not only direction, but photons have polarization and many other properties. They are copied. They are copied from this injected um, injected beam of messages. But it's not enough. It's not enough. Any uh, laser has resonator. Any laser has resonator, and these resonators are very important in this social laser ideology because these are social networks. Um, um, why they need resonator? Maybe I go to. I think I have the picture. Yeah, uh, I have French collaborators, so this is in French, but it's uh, no problem. So here in this tube, there are active atoms. We pump energy, we pump energy to this uh, to this medium until they all became excited. After this, we inject, we inject, um, for example, from here we inject um, stimulating photons, and after this very cascade process and so on, but very quickly they pass and should go out. Uh, but it is uh, many atoms are still excited and more when new energy coming and atoms become exciting. So therefore it is the idea put here a mirror and here a mirror um, and then the you know, photons are go back, back and forward. So first wave came here. It is already big but not enough. It, then it go backward and excite more, more excited atom emits, it became stronger, and it's go many, many times until the beam became so strong. He's half transparent mirror, so the beam goes through this mirror. So through this mirror go very strong beam, and moreover, if the pumping is very strong, more or less all energy which are coming from out is goes through the beam. So he's very important, that pumping of energy should be strong. It's uh, over some barrier, and this threshold is called quantum quantum barrier. Quantum barrier. Hmm. What is the problem of all this machinery? Why it's um, not so easy? Because all atoms, and it's also Einstein's theory of uh, emission. When atom is excited, they also have possibility to emit photons spontaneously, just without any reason. Uh, of course, the physicists try to explain why atom emit photon, and there is the theory of zero point field that there exists a background electromagnetic field which we cannot measure because it's too weak. But atoms can uh, and it's fluctuate, and when atom interact with this zero point field it's emit photon, but it's not clear because we don't measure this zero point field. Yeah, so because um, atoms try to make spontaneous emission and spontaneous emission is in different directions, in different directions. Miro is also important because if some photon is emitted not in this direction, but spontaneously and it's reflected in this direction and then reflected here, it is goes out. So it's also cleaning. It also, mirrors also produce coherence. Those who produce in wrong direction, they are disappear, they disappear. Of course, there are losses, some go out and so on, so it is not so simple device. But schematically, it's very simple. Schematically, it's very simple. Now we tell maybe this um, collective decision making uh, and um, color revolutions, protests, and so on, this um, generation of 
social instability. Social instability it can be explained by model of social laser of social laser. One of um, uh, importance of this theory is to prevent to prevent this using of social laser to make society more stable because if look um, that it can be used for example by different political groups and so on and uh, they are very uh, well know what happened in science because last year i was surprised because i got um for some grant from american congress one american um, um in fact, he was millionaire and so on. His job is very strange, political lobbyist. Mm -hmm. So job of political lobbyist, he come, for example, to you and tell, do you want to be in Congress? Yes. Have you $10 million? Yes. Give me $10 million. But I don't guarantee that you will be in Congress. But maybe next year you will be, yes. And uh, all the, all the know-how is that they know people. He can come to White House and open the door and tell, look, he's a very good guy. And so it's, it's such a strange job, but he know about quantum-like modeling. It's very strange, yeah. So And he came and tried to get some knowledge about this, but um, what has happened, they want, they, what they are doing, what they are not so, um, he's from Trump, uh, from, from Trump um, um, group, but they are not so, um, they're smart. So they try to, when they come to you, before they make your picture, your, your individual picture, who are you? All your connections, all your relations, what you did. And from this image, they want to make prediction how successful you can be. And uh, they told that it worked not so well. They use machine learning, they use artificial intelligence, everything. But um, uh, predictions do not uh, so good. So they are looking maybe that quantum-like predictions would be better, but no, we, we did not get so much positive in co cooperation with him. He went back to the United States. Is, is this part all right to broadcast, or hmm? should I cut this part? You can cut this part, I mean, yeah. It's up to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 for me, it's, uh, no, like yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, this part you can cut, but uh, Trump people can come to you and yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and make your image and uh, <laughs> and suggest you to go to Congress. I mean, <laughs> no, 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 for me, it's, yeah, for me, it's, yeah, okay. of course, I'm fine, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, 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 it was uh, lyric, it was lyrics. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, so. We have the, the, this general scheme from physics and we try to copy it to social. But of course, we should understand what are these physical, these physical things which we can find in social systems. Yeah. So generally, we can look in the same way. Pumping in human medium of social energy. Here appears the word which is very contradictory, social energy. And we should discuss this in very detail. If you accept the notion of social energy, this theory is consistent. If you tell, look, um, social energy is just bluff, bluff and um, then it would not work. Because in physics, all laser machinery is based on social energy. So pumping. So we consider people as social atoms. So they have this state of relaxation, as you know. But you can be excited, you can be excited. And for this excitement, you should get social energy. In which way does, we should have to be discrete between the two states or in fact okay. it's in fact it's depends on your calibration because even in quantum physics is discrete only in textbooks. When you see the radiation of atoms, there is so-called broadening of spectral lines. So roughly speaking, they're Gauss distribution. So it's got, of course, they have uh, spikes. So there's, uh, for example, um, your excited states is some spike. But of course, your spectrum, spectrum of humans should be very complicated. Yeah, so there can be many spikes, yeah. But in ideal model, it's just ground state and state of excitation, yeah. So we pump energy, and then the second stage, stimulating emission of uh, coherent social action. So we inject who play the role of photons we shall discuss. We inject um, um, some um, cloud or some stream of, um, um, I can say, quantum social energy in this medium. 
and medium should start this uh, cascade process of coherent emission of social actions. Which medium and which properties we shall discuss again by analogy with physics. So this is my book, uh, which was published a um, few years ago, Social Laser, and you no, know, it's more or less mathematical. There is not so much about something concrete. Now we're going to the basic notion, social, mental, or psychic energy. As we know, since long time, people in um, psychology um, and um, neurophysiology, they discuss this, this notion. For example, you can read James, Freud, Jung. But it was not so successful, I can say, because it is not easy to determine what is um, psychic mm -hmm. energy. Also, we all have the personal feelings that we have sometimes more energy, sometimes less energy. Yeah? Uh, what is helpful for us? What is helpful for us? We use quantum theory. And quantum theory surprisingly simplified this. Simplified this. Why? Because in quantum physics, quantities are not properties of objects, precisely what we discussed yesterday. When we speak energy of electron, it does not mean that this is energy of electron. It's energy which we get when we perform measurement on electron. So this is energy of electron and our measurement device. And our measurement device. When we speak about particle position, it's not position of particles that we tell particle is here. It's not that really more or less, we don't know what is particle. That's some, only when we make measurement, we see that we get this answer. So uh, all quantities, they become operational. So more or less, many people who use quantum physics, they speak about operational measurement theory. So therefore, we can define social energy just as making some scaling. The simplest case I shall discuss maybe later how to uh, measure this social energy is just ask somebody, are you excited or not? Mm -hmm. And you make, uh, I'm excited or I'm relaxed. Yeah, so it would be already measurement, operational measurement of social energy. Of course, it depends on calibration, but calibration people do even in physics. So without calibration, they would not get something um, interesting. Mm -hmm. And um, Okay, so this is social energy. Uh, to, uh, and then who is analog of um, electromagnetic field? Because energy is pumped in social gain medium, in social gain medium by information field. So we tell that we get this energy from mass media, social networks, television, and so on. So all communications in this model carry some some uh, part of some amount of social energy. And um, one should not imagine this information field as a wave of information going in this space. Because we consider information field as quantum field. What is quantum field? Quantum field is not as usual physical signal which going in space time. Quantum field is very abstract mathematical construction. No, in, in short, this is uh, distribution, operator value distribution, or generalized function with values in the space of operators. So, and uh, this is again operational. And what is the main object of this um, quantum field? These are fields excitations or quanta of this field. And how this field is uh, constructed, we so-called creation and annihilation operators. So all game is with two quantities. One operator generate excitation, another operator destroyed excitation. So again, description is very formal. Uh, uh, you don't need any intuition. You have just collection of operators with generate excitement and operators with um, um, relax excitement. Yeah. Yeah, quantization property, uh, quantization property is in the following. As you told, the levels should be discrete. The levels should be discrete. And this is maybe property of people that, for example, 
people react only on information of um, social energy corresponding to your individuality. Now, for example, um, I would never go to revolution even to getting um, from YouTube um, the suggestion tomorrow you should go to this place and struggle with police. It's not in my scale, but maybe somebody who has another scale would react. So therefore, it is a synthesis very important if you want to make social laser to have homogeneous population. So people who have the same level of energy or just operate with this part of population. With this part of population. Now, now here first time appeared the word indistinguishability. Uh, here are the few people who are very good in physics, uh, Sajjo and um, Masanao. And uh, for me, it was surprising that when I was sufficiently old, I first um, paid my attention to the word indistinguishability mm -hmm. of quantum systems. And in fact, a lot, practically all quantum statistics is based on, on indistinguishability. So, um, to get Bose-Einstein statistic, Fermi-Dirac statistic, air para statistics, we should only assume that systems are indistinguishable. Because before I had the idea that these are mystical properties of quantum systems, that Bose-Einstein statistic for photons, because these photons are very strange creatures which have very strange properties. But in fact, you can get Bose-Einstein statistics only from assumption that two photons which have the same energy, the same polarization and the same point vector, they are indistinguishable. More or less, uh, this is um, the property of microvolt or maybe our property because we still um, we still don't know whether these two photons with the same energy and polarization totally indistinguishable or not. This is problem of hidden variables. Problem of hidden variables. Maybe the, maybe this photon has some his own personality, but we don't know. Mm -hmm. Of course, there is claim that Bell inequality tells us that there is no hidden variables, but it's not so simple because Bell inequality is uncontextual. Uncontextual. This typically people don't pay attention to this. They just tell Bell inequality told us that it's impossible to combine with local realism and so so on. But it's better to look to output of Bell inequality from the viewpoint contextuality, non-contextuality. If you are non-contextual, Bell inequality tell you no hidden variable. But if you tell that in this context you introduce these hidden variables in this context, this, and so on, then Bell inequality cannot do anything. And at least when we go to humans, it is very natural to assume contextuality, to assume contextuality. Okay, so, and for example, there is a book of Schrodinger, which is called Statistical Mechanics. I think it's, yeah, Statistical Mechanics. Where he derived all quantum statistics, I, I, in fact, I started with this book, just from property indistinguishability. So he told uh, this derivation of classical statistics from assumptions that particles are distinguishable. This is derivation of quantum statistics only from assumptions that they are indistinguishable. So this is very important. So to get these properties of social systems, which would mimic the properties of physical systems, we should have indistinguishability. Therefore, it is important that social atoms should be as indistinguishable as possible. Of course, we cannot make, to, we are different people, that we have hidden variables, but maybe in some context. So when people participate in some action and so on, they, be, uh, they behave as they indistinguishable, they lose their individuality. So for social laser functioning, it's important that you participate in this event not as individual, but as just, you just interested in this um, event and nothing more. Can I make one question? Mm -hmm. It's maybe a bit different from yours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But is there any uh, determinant that can separate individualism and collectivism? It is often in a contrast between like the Japanese or, or mm -hmm. mm -hmm. American. But to me, the individualist societies, the individual are indistinguishable. 
and in a collective, mm -hmm. this collective distinct society, individuals are distinguishable. Mm -hmm. They respect each other. Mm -hmm. So there's, I think there's a, some uh, dilemma between that. But uh, it, generally, I agree with you. But we study such regime of social situation when individuals became indistinguishable. Mm -hmm. Now, because when people participate in such mass event, mm -hmm. they really lose the individuality. They in either individualistic or collective. They are. They, no, they, they, yeah. the, the main, um, the main uh, I think uh, this uh, social laser activities became more, uh, I think you, you see that world became more unstable. So last year, it's very unstable, yeah? And this is um, precisely the property that under this energy pumping, even um, individuals become um, non-individual, at least in this context. Maybe next day they can wake up and say, oh, I'm, I'm Andre and uh, what I'm doing, yeah? Uh, so when people participate in some events, they don't have, it's not important their name, it's not important uh, what is written in their passport and so on. So um, to be active um, medium for socializing, they should lose the individuality, maybe just in context. So they cannot lose the in individuality completely. Yeah, so this is one thing. So this is indistinguishability of atoms, of social atoms. But photons are also should be indistinguishable. And here we also can find a lot in literature on um, social science and information, social information, what I call contentless information. Information is more and more contentless. You can say what is, when you see news and so on, uh, there is content. But now it's again what we discussed yesterday, when you are overloaded by information and look to young generations, they work in this regime, TikTok and so on. When you operate with just labels, with just images and not go to deep, I can say Boolean analysis of communication. Mm -hmm. So from this viewpoint, from this viewpoint, maybe communication has so to say hidden variables, but people react, people react only on labels, uh, on um, signs, on so on. This one, um, um, who is she? She's from social science. In Sweden, I cooperate with one social scientist and she did very big analysis of what happened in internet, um, on Swedish internet when uh, Russian, Ukrainian was started. And she analyzed how people replied to posts. So somebody posts some statement and then people react. Typically, people never analyze this post. So she, she, she read what they replied, and typically it has not so much relation to the previous. They can only write, are you idiot, and so on. But typically they just take two words from his post, and then there will maybe 100 reactions to these two words. But if you read further this post, it could be that this guy is not... So, for example, this position which was assigned to him, he wrote more and so on. And uh, this is really this situation when people react to labels, when people react to labels and not make analysis of context. Mm -hmm. This depends on two things. First, time and computational constraints, because people do, not, not so many people are in social networks as called day job. They, in the evening, they came for after job and they want to, they look to this message, aha, there is this, and they immediately reply. Uh, another guy looked to the message, aha, there is this label and reply, and this is cascade process of generation of messages. So, indistinguishability in social behavior and um, consumption of information without deep logical analysis are two basic conditions for this social lesson. So these are two basic conditions. Um, yeah, so more or less what are conditions for this? People should behave at least in some situation as social atoms. So they should lose their individuality. Mass media should generate the wave of information with sufficiently powerful that people would be overloaded 
and could not make Boolean analysis of information. And what is the last is social resonators. Social resonator is social network. So you see from TV something, you make comment on the internet, and other people started to make comment. Moreover, there's also called echo chambers. So when your opinion is different, is different from the opinion of people in this social network, is a moderator take away your comment, or other people just ignore your comment and only comments which are in the mainstream, they generate more and more comments. So experience of social networks and social resonators also important for social laser. So uh, this is my viewpoint why we have society which is more and more unstable. First of all, people lose their individuality. They are more and more homogeneous. Information overload, because uh, uh, never before we got so much information from internet, from uh, mobiles, from TV, and so on. So the information which we got now in our brain is um, really incompatible. Um, yeah, and what is also this is um, indistinguishability. I read that when people go through, for example, on on internet, on Facebook, some um, there is some events which appear in um, in chain. This, 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 and you re, uh, you take this event and you remember this event only sixteen seconds. 16 seconds and you forgot. Fishes typically remember events uh, 12 seconds. So this is more or less fish behavior. So we, when we go through internet uh, list, it's... Um, okay, so these are these conditions. Yeah, and we go further. Uh, so principle of civil defense. So my um, uh, idea is that it should be used um, to prevent instability in society. So this is... Um, of course, it's um, not clear how to realize. So this uh, how to avoid processing of information on clip mode. So just on symbols to try to try to make some Boolean some Boolean analysis and uh, maybe uh, prevent uh, homogenization when people lose their national, religious, and cultural root. Yeah, there is a book socializer and actions actions. So actions need not be just uh, color revolutions as was at the beginning of my uh, at my thinking at my thinking. Oh, no, for example, this uh, um, attack to White House, to White House, which was uh, after Trump elections, is also more or less social laser. It's happened very quickly, and uh, very quickly it was relaxed. Yeah, <clears throat> but people were already um, excited by these elections because. Um, Trump and his um, team always told that there is fake uh, counting and so on. But um, now we think that collective decisions, the theory is maybe even more important when, for example, mm -hmm. government administrations, they want to make some positive collective decision in society. So this is this can work this same process. Uh, pumping of social energy and then put this energy to something concrete. So more or less the theory predicts that people would react in this uh, direction of injecting photons. Yeah, social laser. Yeah. Um, yeah, one, uh, one social laser can charge another social laser. In distinguishability we have discussed. We discuss in distinguishability uh, photons and what I call infons, excitations of information field, they are, they are very similar. They are very similar. And um, indistinguishability leads to quantum statistics, yes. And this is, uh, of course, I think should be a very big message for us because um, indistinguishability is the property which can be considered for humans, for animals, for everybody. And uh, it's interesting that a lot in quantum world, which we associate that it is properties of microsystems of size. In fact, not property of size. It's property of behavior when these creatures are indistinguishable. And indistinguishability in human society also has the not only object, but antenna. So they're indistinguishable from viewpoint of 
some body or some state or some administrative uh, construction and so on. If they are such, then maybe quantum statistics works. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. If, if uh, is it possible to construct a physical material that is actually not uh, completely homogeneous, but still try uh, can generate the laser, or is a laser only possible when the uh, underlying material is completely homogeneous? In physics, they had this idea, but what we got now, and this is our last papers with um, some people who are very good laser physicists. Uh, maybe I go to, it's, it's a very good question. We go over all these things. Maybe we'll be back to this. Yeah. Um, we found, and physicists never never do this because they wanted homogeneous material and it was quite easy to produce it. But now uh, let us consider this um, gain medium, which is network, which is network where sites are people, for example, or atoms, which are connected by some um some um, how to say vertices yeah and um uh, we found just pure mathematical calculations that this laser is much better than usual laser mm -hmm. so now we publish seven papers in physical journals and physicists look to this maybe they will construct even physical lasers which are based on graphs and here the main parameter is connectivity. How many connections has one side? Mm -hmm. Higher connectivity, better it works. Roughly speaking, connectivity gives us possibility to make um, less this um, uh, laser pumping threshold. Mm -hmm. To this, um, to this um, social, this social network start to transfer coal energy into coherent physical or social field. Uh, if this, um, roughly speaking, it's divided by the connectivity, threshold is divided by connectivity. So it is really surprising. And it's again, I think, a uh, very interesting uh, pathway. So we start from physics, from laser. We went to social science, to quantum light. In physics, nobody had the idea why to have network, but in our science network is best um, gain medium, best active medium. And when we make calculations in quantum field formally, it looks like this machinery works better. It works better no, because um, energy is not radiated. It is going through this, uh, through this um, connections. And yeah, so this is what we are doing now. What we are doing now, it is precisely social and physical lasers, which are based on networks. So connection between networks and lasers. So this is, this was good remark. This was good remark. I don't know where is the paper, the paper network. Ah, this paper in um, physical in physical review of E in physical review of E, and then also we recently published a paper. I think in yeah. So what I can tell more? Both Einstein statistics. Yeah. So this is. Cascade process, cascade process. Why we hope, why we hope that it will, that it will increase the number, the number of photons would increase. This is uh, how works probability of Bose bosonic quantum field. And in bosonic field, the probability that we have transition from the state when we have n photons to the state n plus one is square root of n plus one. And transition back, the uh, photon is absorbed by atom, is square root of n. So this is gain. So the field becomes stronger and stronger. And the only thing, of course, this is just theoretical model. You need some um, experimental studies, yes? But this is only from indistinguishability. So if you uh, have clip or label consumption of information, this uh, radiation from this medium would increase, would increase. If, of course, this is very um, difficult to say, what is it? Is it metaphor or this is it model? And um, yeah, so at least it's, uh, if we follow physics, it is this, it is the social basis, social lazing. Uh, it is connected, of course, with easing model. 
in statistics is uh, because this um, uh, this is Ising model and these are um, um, ions which have spin up or down. These are spin operators. What is um, our, what we did more or less, what we can look to our activity. To this Ising model, there is additional term. There is active information field. So what was done, this is um, very big activity in social science um, based on using of Ising models for agent behavior. We changed Ising model by this active field and it became more complicated. Social spin, social spin, of course, um, the process which I described that um, when, so when physical atom is in the field, physical atom is in the field and there is going photon in this direction, uh, atom also emit photon in this direction. It's not so simple. Uh, photons and uh, electrons in atoms, they have spin. And this would work only when spins are will have more or less um, more or less the same direction. So this is this should explain why one people react to this mass media uh, um, injection and others do not. Because we see that in many of these situations when a part of society is really excited, another part of society is totally ignorant. They don't react to this. And this, of course, this theory should be completed by theory of social spin. And I spoke with psychologists and they have the idea that in brain we have a kind of social axis. They did not use the word spin, but something similar to spin, they, that everybody has his individual social axis. And if this end of social axis of information and your social axis is uh, small, you react. If not, you don't react. Yeah, whether it has near some people even think that it has near a physiological background. That you can measure your brain. We even had project in the United States, and we applied to the uh, Air Force military agency with this project, but it was not successful. But in any event, there were a team of American neurophysiologists which wanted to measure uh, to measure brain activity on the different information fields. Mm -hmm. Maybe this guy who reacts to this to this type of messages, he has different uh, structure of brain networks. Uh, in fact, this uh, this uh, laser whole laser activity is very special case of so-called phase transition. Phase transition is uh, you know from school when we have water and then temperature go down. This is barrier temperature barrier is become ice. And in physics, there are many many such phase transitions depending on some parameters. So there is some parameter, and when we go over or below this parameter, the properties of, uh, of the structure uh, change it crucially. So in our case, this is energy pumping parameter, but we can develop many, many things in social science where we have some transition parameter. When before this level, we have this type of society, when we pass it, society is changed. But uh, here we think just wrote one paper and it is, um, this is more or less what we do now. Of course, um, uh, possible experimental studies. This is around the notion of social energy. So maybe they could be uh, done consistently uh, such methodology, of course, first methodology should be developed, calibration, Calibration, of course, this is too primitive. Do you feel relaxed or excited? Um, then maybe it's possible even measure brain correlations. That is, when you are excited, how look your brain? And when you are relaxed, how look your brain? Again, calibration, sc uh, scaling. Um, uh, the same about um, information, communications, energy. One of them, we, what we used with this, my uh, collaborator in social science, is when you make post on internet, how many people reply to this post? So it can be very raw measure of energy of this post. Yeah, and uh, but of course this is um, there is no methodology; it should be developed. Contextuality, of course, uh, these social laser parameters depend very much um, depends very much on social groups. Uh, national, racial, gender, and so on. Uh, 
again, you can cut this, you can cut the next uh, short story, but it's well known that Lenin, before revolution, he was moving from Germany to Russia to make revolution on train. And train was going through Sweden. Mm -hmm. And Lenin had one night in hotel in Stockholm. Mm -hmm. Lenin never lost time for nothing. He went to the street, he went to the pub where Swedish workers, and he started agitation for revolution in German. They could speak German. And after this, he came back to hotel and wrote notes. In this country, revolution is impossible. Mm -hmm. So he immediately estimated that Swedish workers would never uprise. Yeah, mm -hmm. so this, of course, so, uh, so national and racial things play the role. Determination of social laser threshold. When this laser start work, how much information you should pump in this um, another characteristic, which is very important and maybe also has neurophysiological correlations. This important so called excitation time of atom. How long atom would be excited? If it's very quickly relaxed and emit photon, it is impossible to make lesion because it's just eat and put. Uh, uh, he was excited by some communication, but go to kitchen and start to cry to his wife, and that's all. Yeah, it should collect. It should collect social energy. Yeah. And uh, testing quantum statistics for social uh, systems. Yeah. So both Einstein and uh, they, uh, we have formulas for average number of people in each uh, state, in each state. And here can be game how indistinguishable are people and how strong. Of course, we would not get precisely both Einstein statistics. It would be some even if you get it, if it is some approximation. So there should be maybe the play between some parameter of indistinguishability, how people are indistinguishable, and uh, how, how strongly they generate uh, quantum-like statistics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is more or less a totally different topic. Here, the most attractive for me is connection with social networks, and generally with networks. And with internet, uh, YouTube, Twitter, and all this information, which we call social laser resonators, and maybe even with decision making, with decision making, how it can be used for generating decision making, and also how prevent instabilities, how prevent instabilities. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So, do you have any questions? I'm very interested uh, in how defining the social energy. So, I think that one of the main fundamental points. Yeah, this is this is the the, the key point. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Also, how to measure uh, is uh, yeah to the social energy. So. I I think one um, candidate is some uh, percentage of time of, of uh, people's uh, 24 hours mm -hmm. for, uh, for business, for hobby or something, but uh, to, uh, um, to attend some kind of social activity mm -hmm. at the time, maybe some kind of the, uh, Representative for yeah, I understood the idea. I understood the idea. Do, yes, do yes, you yes. Have some no, I idea. no, I'm theoretician. I never did say anything practical. I can say yeah. So, but um, it, it's not bad uh, idea. Yeah, I spoke with American psychologists, and they had also ideas, but it was not realized. So it was it was not realized because they went in another direction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have one question. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. uh, what is the most important constraint condition to make a special laser? No, for me, it's um, that we overloaded by information, and more we are more and more trained to get not um, not um, consume information with deep analysis, but just taking keywords, labels, uh, clips, and so on. Now, if you speak with young generations, they really work in TikTok regime. Mm -hmm. And they get information. So we now travel with daughter, and she, for example, had images of some places in Kyoto, 
and she immediately recognized here we should go to the second floor and then there will be a restaurant. <laughs> yeah, but maybe she does not know anything more about Kyoto. So mm -hmm. that the restaurant is on the second floor. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so this uh, this um, um, clip syncing. It yeah. can be tested, I think, in experiments when people yeah. consume information in this way. Yeah. Or, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so, to make actual laser, there are lots of constraints. Mm -hmm. So, it, it's harder to make. But, uh, so based on your ad hoc, so these days, <laughs> it's so easy to make a social laser. This is my main message. That's <laughs> now, this, it's, uh, of course, it was more or less uh, even before, but before to make this social lesson, people should make very big preparation. Mm -hmm. Just to pump energy was not so easy and uh, so on. And um, I think nowadays it's uh, much easier. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I think these instabilities are stronger and stronger in societies. Yeah. 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 Another point is uh, mm -hmm. loss of the individuality. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's just a comment, but uh, uh, how do you think of it uh, in Japan, the, especially in the internet mm -hmm. space, uh, the uh, rather extreme right wing people use a very uh, typical kind of term mm -hmm. in Japanese, Futsu no Nihonjin. <laughs> Futsu no Nihonjin means a general Japanese. Uh -huh. I am a general Japanese. Mm -hmm. This kind of uh, this also a good label. It's just label. Yeah, yeah, yeah label. But yeah. this label is uh -huh. very interesting for mm -hmm. me because it is uh, on one hand mm -hmm. the loss of individuality, but on the other uh, maybe it's related to the elections. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. also this is very collective. Yeah, collective. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, there is some internet meme. Uh, General, a uh, Japanese general adult man. Who comments on some U USA kind of uh, social media as a uh, as a direct translation of what I of So general means sometimes the armies. So it, it's like a joke. Uh, general, uh, 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 but it, uh, but it, when we look to individuals, this is loss of individuality. Yes. If you are general Japanese, yes. you are not yes. more you. Yes, yeah. Yes. General Russian. Is, I'm not general Russian. Yes. I don't feel me as uh, general Russian. Yes. And um, so it's it's again loss of individuality. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So yes. even this conservative in the United States, they also mm. thought we are conservative. Mm. And this is loss of individuality because if you speak with conservative guy, he has a list of statements. He cannot go mm -hmm. away from this list. Yeah. So this yeah, is yeah. 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 That it's related to this, but um, um I, I I've been thinking about this collective action mm -hmm. now. Probably has at least you know two major different kind of forms, uh, like a uh, good teams with a uh, many kind of diversity and you know conflict and then generate mm -hmm. some kind of new ideas and so on. And the other thing is exactly like in you know, the social laser type where coherence matters and it's just a power to promote things mm -hmm. just, you know uh, mm -hmm. without any you know idea generation or anything just do things right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, these are also potentially related to um well not only the collectivism and individualism uh or loss of individuality but or, or we we may be able to quantify something with the integrated information now, mm -hmm. we haven't talked much about yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You mm -hmm. know, the loss of in, in, in the individuality will probably generate a very low integrated information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. But um, if you tell the it is now work very well, um, the, may, the best example is uh, the republic which is called Kyrgyzstan mm -hmm. in uh, former Soviet Union. This is Pamir mm -hmm. uh, mountains region. They had five color revolutions. Mm -hmm. So they really society which is once in three years, they're terribly excited. They destroy the government, brutal uprise. After this, again, stabilization. And nothing happened in this country. Country is poor, very nothing. And then in two years, again, started new group. More or less, it looks like now some groups of people can use this strategy. They started to promote mm -hmm. the color they color and after this they have again terrible uprise everything destroyed and five times and there is no memory about uh, previous and yeah, mm -hmm. yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. And maybe if you have just one minute, uh, if you um, uh, speak about real applications of this quantum light, what we did recently with my colleagues in Tel Aviv, they work in mental hospital, mm -hmm. in mental hospital, and they have this EEG from brain, and there were a lot of um, attempts to use EEG to determine mental diseases. Mm -hmm. EEG work very well for many things, but for example, to determine where some guy is schizophrenic or not, it's not so good. And uh, we did some uh, very interesting construction, which um, we represent this EEG not in usual way, but as a tree, hierarchic structure. So our idea is that consciousness operate not with amplitudes, but with hierarchies. So we represent this uh, graphic of amplitudes as tree of hierarchies. So brain each minute operate with hierarchies. This hierarchical tree is transformed to another and so on. This is idea. We don't know what happened in brain. After this, we did a really strange thing. I don't know how many of you know about Bohmian mechanics. Bohmian mechanics and they have so-called pilot wave or quantum potential. So in Bohmian model, it's a picture is the following. There is a particle, on the, for example, small ball in the sea. There are waves on the sea and ball moving on these waves. So we can calculate from probability distribution this quantum potential. And it's a really amazing result. We got even two patents that uh, is distinguished really very good people with different um, personal disorders. Uh, when the usual EEG cannot do, quantum potentials are different. Quantum potential of schizophrenic is different from quantum potential of normal guy. So it is also quantum-like application, but in a bit tricky way. Yeah. So, yeah, thank you. No, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Did you get the phone? Yeah. Yesterday? Yesterday I got, but what happened?